Good morning. Um, it is a Thursday and it's going to be a very, very busy day. I thought I would do another day in the life because apparently people like to be naughty. And, well, I'm also one of those people anyway. Today, obviously, we've got the normal, usual work until 4.30 and then studying this evening. So today is going to be on Unit 6 of Civil Dispute Resolution today, this evening. Got a lot of reading. I feel like I'm finally in a, in a place where I can actually, I feel like I'm learning properly rather than just reading and watching lectures. Like I'm actually understanding the material. But yeah, I thought I'd take you along on my day. As per usual, that's what a day in the life is, obviously. And show you what I get up to. So yeah, we've already boxed off the gym today. I've got a haircut today as well, finally. As you can see by the mop on my head, uh, I desperately need a haircut. So, I've got quite a busy day today, as per usual. Um, I am got quite a bit to do for um, which pretty much is going to take most of the day, but then there's a few like internal admin bits that I need to do as well. That is the morning meeting now done. Um, we usually have a daily catch up like every 9 a.m. every day just to see what everyone's doing for the day. Um, so now I actually need to get ready for the day because I haven't had a shower yet and I've obviously got back from the gym. So I need to get in the shower, take Coco for a walk, and then work, and then go for my haircut, which I just am very excited for. <laughs> So we're just on a little daily walk now. It's very crisp, it's very cold. I need to go back and do more work, obviously. But she's enjoying herself. Coco. She's enjoying herself. So now we're all showered for the day. Like I said, it's, it's really crisp today. It's like five degrees at the moment. Christmas is coming, that's what it is. Christmas is starting to come now. I'm very, very, very excited for the festive season. Starbucks have just all, um, released the, their, um, Christmas range, so I might treat myself to one of them today. We'll see. I might treat myself and Mark to one. I always do this when I'm in the sun as well, and I swear to God, I'm gonna get the worst wrinkles possible. Over the past week, I've kind of reevaluate, been like reevaluating what my priorities are in terms of. Um, obviously, I've got the podcast, I've got the Instagram, got the YouTube, the website, got to work, I've got to study. Yeah, I, I filled out my calendar basically. I'm gonna put a screenshot like somewhere up here of basically my calendar, what's to come over the next month in terms of university. Obviously I don't put work tasks in there, but keep in mind that I start at eight and finish at half past four. And then in Tuesday, on Tuesdays, I'm in the office, but I still work in Leeds and I have to drive down to Leeds. So it's from Newcastle, so it takes about an hour and a half to two hours, but it's just absolutely manic at the moment. Like I've got so much on um but it has to be done at the same time so i'm just kind of looking at priorities and then looking at that calendar there it made me realize like, how much i can't overstretch myself otherwise something's going to take a hit and the one thing that i don't obviously want to take a hit is my grades at uni so we're kind of reevaluating basically our priorities and just making sure that everything that needs to be done is getting done and also just basically that I'm making time for university, but also time for myself slightly. I've got a few things booked in over the next few weeks. And I'm just trying to find the balance at the moment. I think that's so important to find balance between, obviously, if you work whilst doing your degree, whether it's part-time, full-time, um, volunteering or whatever, finding the balance between working, studying, and also doing some social stuff is so hard. I'm just kind of prioritizing basically what needs prioritizing and making sure stuff gets done to the best well capability really. On another note, I need to get cracking with work a little bit more now because it's like, what, 20 past 10? I've got a busy day, like I've said, like 42 million times. So get on with that, Jordan. I've been sent out to get some chicken for the dog. What time's it now? 22 minutes past 11. 
and then I need to go back, basically do another five minutes of work and then get my hair cut again. Um, right, we've secured the chicken. Got like some flowers, so because I'm just a generous, nice boyfriend. Fiance, I keep saying boyfriend. So yeah, I'm gonna go back, give my dog some chicken because obviously that's what I went for and give my the flowers of course i feel like when i do like a day in the life i always record for the sake of recording because i don't want you to miss anything so i'll just talk about random stuff constantly does anyone else find it really awkward when they're like pulling up to their house and stuff and they see the neighbor and you don't want to speak to them because i don't want to Right, heading back out again for the second time. This time, it's for the haircut. And then I'm gonna go back, obviously do some more work. Most likely time lapse that because I'm obsessed with making time lapse at the moment. Haircut, check. That is boxed off. Went to Starbucks, got a Starbucks. I got, they brought back the red cups. So the red cups are back. Oh, it's Christmas. I got a, what was it? A caramel, caramel waffle latte. I got it with oat milk and then I've got Mark the same but iced and I got it with soy milk because he prefers soy milk than oat milk. I'm excited to drink that because it's just, it's Christmas at the end of the day, it's Christmas. I know everyone's like, oh, well, it's only the 11th of November. No, no, it's Christmas. As soon as Halloween finishes, it's Christmas. So we're gonna go inside and eat as well because I am starving. I have just got an email about um, my, one of my next year modules so basically i'll be doing a research project which is basically like a smaller dissertation i know dissertations are about ten thousand words but this research project is six thousand words but it's similar i suppose and i got an email to say that the title list is now out um so we can choose from the titles that they provide or we can create our own and get it approved by like my university I didn't want to do a research project, but when I thought about it, actually, if I could do it on any topic, it, um, it would have been criminal law. So just because as, as much as I am going into commercial like business law um, for my training contract, I do actually really like criminal law. And I think it just because it like sticks in my head really well, but I'm stuck between two different titles. So I'm either going to go for I don't know if I'm allowed to read. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you, but I'm gonna anyway. One of them is basically about the anonymity of um, defendants in sexual offences, crimes, people that have been, people that have been um, basically accused of sexual offences, uh, crimes, whether they should be kept anonymous like the defendant until a judgment's been made, which I think is quite an exciting one. But then there's another one which is under the ethics and diversity title. And it's basically about, so it's, it gives you a quote about the SQE. So the SQE has a powerful, has powerful, the SQE has powerful potential to level the playing field for candidates, assessing them in a standardized and comparable way regarding, regardless of entry route and prior access for, to opportunities. And then it says, discuss and critically evaluate whether the implementation of the solicitor's qualifying exam is in fact level the playing field for candidates and improve access to the profession for all, which I think is actually really, really relevant at the moment, obviously considering the SQE only came into force really last year. Um, and I know that people have just started sitting their SQE one exams. So that's actually quite an exciting one to do, but I'm torn. I am torn. I do feel like I'll probably go for the criminal law one just because I feel like my knowledge on that is better. But the SQE one is genuinely a really, really good question. There's two SQE questions actually, but that one stood out to me a little bit more. So I'm not too sure.
just recorded this and it looked like I just recorded it on a potato. So it's fully dark outside now, it's only just 10, 5 o'clock. I was meant to study at half past four, but that's fine. Um, I need to do my civil dispute resolution unit six lectures now. And then um, at, I think six o'clock or, no, I think it's half past five, I'm meant to start my reading, but it's fine. Although it's not to what it says in my calendar, I'm still gonna get it all done tonight, hopefully, so I can focus on the submitted unit tasks tomorrow. And then hopefully I don't need to touch anything until Sunday. So we're just gonna crack on with that now. halfway through my reading now it's half past seven i am craving sweets if i'm honest i just want some sweets um oh the reason i came down to fill up my bottle i forgot my bottle i'm halfway through my reading i've got a little bit more to go actually i'm more than halfway i'm probably about three quarters of the way um and then i can finish hopefully before eight o'clock it's half seven now so i'm just gonna fill up my bottle smash it out and then To be fair, I finished later yesterday and eight o'clock's actually pretty good to stay off in it. I started studying half an hour later than what I was supposed to. So actually eight o'clock's pretty good going. I'm happy with that. Um, which means that I can do the SUTs tomorrow, the submitted unit tasks, uh, which is basically like workshop work. And then not need to look at a piece of law until Sunday. Cause that's when I'm gonna start my unit seven um modules i mean unit seven units for the modules yeah so that's very very good going on my behalf i'd say i've actually i don't need to do um i don't need to do a, uh, a submitted unit task for equity and trust because there isn't one for unit six so that's an even bigger bonus i only need to do two this week when it's usually three so that means i'm going to be leaving this day in the life here obviously it's now like i say my bedtime so it definitely has been a full day in the life with me compared to my other videos where i usually start at like 2 p.m but i really hope you enjoyed coming around with me to all the places that i need to go today and studying with me and everything like that i feel like this day in the life is a little bit more interesting than the other ones that i do just because it's it's had a little bit more movement rather than staying in the house all day so yeah I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. But until next time, I shall see you later. Bye-bye.